All right, so today we're going to be showing you how to replace this Model S Gen 3 magnetic sensor. So what you're going to do is you got to remove, obviously, the door handle, get it to this position. And now the next thing you're going to do is you're going to take this little collar and turn it so that it gets out of the way of the little tiny fingers that hold on to the metal shaft and the door handle. So once you get these, the collar moved out of the way, it'll free up the little fingers. Now, this is the quickest way I've been able to find it. Um, and I've done lots of them this way. Um, so you're just going to take your time. You're going to take a little scribe and you're just going to lift up on the teeth and then you're going to put pressure so that the teeth don't go back down on the shaft. Um, so usually you have to do it to about four of them and it'll just slide off just like this. Now this happened to be, I don't know if I was rushing for the video or what exactly happened, but I ended up breaking one of the tabs, unfortunately. So this has only happened to me two out of like a hundred of these that I've done. Um, so anyways, this is the little uh, tab that holds on to the shaft, as you can see the little groove there. So this is a new one that I had just done from another door handle that I didn't film. And uh, you can see it's still intact, but this one, it broke one of those little tabs. You can see it. So you still have the remaining five out of the six. Um, so it would probably be fine, but I won't sell it as it is. Uh, I'll end up just putting it aside. So if you want one of these, let me know. So the next thing that you're going to do is take this T8 Torx. This is if you're going to go ahead and replace like the paddle gear or any other components in there. So you're going to take your T8 Torx and you're going to pull out these little tiny set screws. And that's what holds this shaft in place. So once you get those out of the way, those are just Loctited in there. They're not very tight. Uh, obviously an impact works the best. So now the next thing you're going to do is not attempt to pull it out because what you have to do is rem remove this little C-clip that's hiding down inside the handle there. As you can see it, I'm going to point it out right there. So that's the C-clip. And now the C is open in my direction. So what you want to do is go to the other side so that way you can get a little tiny pick underneath of it just like I'm doing here. Place your thumb on top of there. Don't stab your thumb. And then pull that C-clip right up and out. Now a lot of times these will be really rusty if the door handle has been on there for a while. These are brand new handles. Um, so when you order a paddle gear, it'll come with this new C-clip from me. Um, now I'm pointing out that the shaft is only going to go one way. It won't go the other way because that plate is in the way. Now when you're pulling the shaft out, you want to have it face down because those springs that push the handle in and out have a decent amount of pressure on them and they'll shoot right out. So as you can see, the springs have fallen out and the paddle gear has fallen out now that you've removed that shaft out of the way. So if you're just removing the paddle gear and replacing it, now you'll just put it back in and push the shaft back in, replace the C-clip, put the springs back on, and you'll be good to go. Now I've had, had some people that need to buy new handles because the handle broke. And so if you're going to replace that handle, that's the little pin that I just showed there that you're going to push out. Uh, if you're replacing the motor, you would remove the three uh, T10 Torx screws out of the motor housing. There's three of them. I'll turn it here in a second. Yeah, so one, two, three. And then once you remove those, you'll just pull them right out. There's Loctite on them. It's red Loctite, so it isn't that tough, but that's it for the motor. If you're just getting the sensor, then the part number is 1066380-00-A, and it'll find, you can find it right on our website. So thanks for watching Real Deal EV. Let us know if you have any questions. Take care.